Good morning. It's the next day. Um, going to keep keep going, I suppose. No point in stopping, right? Um, last night, as I was cleaning up, I, I I just got too excited and just had to get my last idea for the day out of my head. And um, I started mocking up the frame for what will be the front headlight and grill. And uh, this is what I came up with. Right, that's got a little bit of a curve. And that's gonna tuck up. Into there. Just like that. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be working on today. That, and I'll take the bumper off because I broke it by sitting on it. Too much confidence in my own welds. I should know better. But um, yeah, let's let's get to doing the doing. Past the point of no return, baby, on the summer night. The shot of love and the spark of love to be. So now we've got the bumper mounted back exactly where it was. Shane, no wobbly boy no more. Um, I put some new hardware in as well because I had mismatched bolts. So I went out and bought some uh, uh, domed black bolts. They look a bit more like carriage bolts, kind of the period I'm going for. It's time to um, mock fit this up and take some measurements. Now I know I'm going to have to clearance out around the edges, but um, yeah, we'll just pop it in there, see what it looks like. I do want a bit of a gap between the top of it and the bonnet. The hood. Man, it's hot as out here today. That's why I'm in the garage today. Um, wife's gone out to the errands. But it's meant to be like 37 degrees today. So for my American fans, that is 98 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty warm. You gotta get it done. Yeah, so to create the gap between the bonnet and the top of the frame, I'm just gonna tape a couple of bits of five mil metal. Cutoffs that I made a mistake with yesterday. See, mistakes always come in handy, so never get rid of it. This should not be that difficult. It's proving out too big. It's alright, we'll get there. It's pretty tight on the edge there. That's alright, we'll figure that out. main goal now, right at this point in time, is just to get this frame fitted up so I can take the measurements. Oh, can we see that? I'll check the camera angle on that. 
I'll bring his in. We got a little bit of the handle stuck in the corner of the view. That's great. There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll take some measurements and we'll come back with the next step. Okay, so the magical number I came up with, came up with I just plucked it out of my head, was 143, 143 cuts in it and just folded it. So I'm going to do the same to this. So it matches that same curve. And the, bon the, the bump is a little bit curved as well, so I'm going to keep that going. So half of 143 is... Half of 140 is 70, half of 3 is one and a half. So we have got... 71 and a half. Is my math right? Half of 40, 140, 70. We have three centimeters left over, half of that is one and a half, so yes, 71 and a half. All right. And I also put some cuts in that's kind of wing these cuts. And now there it is, yeah. Winged it and welded it. In the end, somewhere. That's it. So, from the center point, that one is 43. So this one is. Probably about the same. So, 43 centimeters on the edge. Right there. And I need some new tools. This tape measure is broken, the lock thing on it doesn't work. That's very tricky. Do it by myself. Shouldn't be, it's just measuring. Measuring and marking. If you haven't realized by now, my method is about there is about right. But um, that will have to change when it comes time to do all the suspension work. I have to make sure I'm good. Traditionally speaking, it's not a curve, it's straight lines with a couple of angles, but it'll do. That's going to weld them up, tack them up, so they don't move, and um, put the two bits together. So I just went ahead and welded that bit. I was filming, and then I was having issues, no surprise there. But um, yeah, so that's the, that's the frame. That's what it is. So now I need to add some strength to this, because obviously 
much like my bumper, and she's a wobbly. Now we're next, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to box it out across the top, across the bottom, and uh, go from there. Some more bad welding, some incorrect measuring. What could go wrong? I don't know. You guys tell me. Tell me what could possibly go wrong with me doing this. Apart from everything. Anyway. No self-doubt. All confidence. I burnt the concrete a little bit. That's good. That's okay. Can you see me? Yeah, kind of see what I'm talking. It's not really interesting anyway. It's just me cutting some stuff. Probably should have bought more of this. I've got some thinner stuff which I use down the bottom, so I'm going to go thick frame up the top, down the sides, be a little bit thinner, across the bottom, be a little bit thinner on the top. All right, like I, like I may have mentioned earlier, I like the old trucks. Can't afford them. They're like I found a, a Ford F-150 1980s, I think, uh, on marketplace. It's missing a headlight, missing a grill, missing a tray, missing a motor. I want nine grand for it. I bought, I paid nine thousand dollars or something like that. Brought it home to my wife and said, "Look, look, baby, it's my truck. I'll be sleeping in the cab, which also was missing doors and windows." So that just gives you the idea of how much those trucks are worth in Australia. Segway a bit there. Can't afford old, I'm building old. I just say I love it when a plan comes together. Anyway. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna tack it in and um then work on the rest and show you guys the rest of that. Okay, so I got that top bit very poorly tacked in there. My welding skills are supreme. Jeez, it's just a, a lot of self-pity in this in this video. It's not good. Anyway, we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna burn it in with the lava gun and um move on to the side bits. Maybe I won't show the side bits because it's just the same shit as this. Um yeah. Let's burn it in. 
Probably need more welding gloves. I've got a few sparks in my skin there. But... Those ones are good, those ones are shit, that's okay. Thicker metal is easier to, to weld. Anyway, I'm not going to watch. Let you guys watch me do the rest of this. This is going to take a while. But, um, yeah, I'll bring it back when it's welded. Show you some of my welds. There it is. That is three, I think, two, maybe three hours of work. Ran out of welding wire. So. Flat discs and run out of those. But um, I think it's where I want. We've got a little badge in the middle, strut bar, lights. I'll show you what I've got for them. So obviously, from um, the original headlights, the original aftermarket headlights. I bought some of these. And, you know, they'll do the whole. See, I can't use blocks of masking tape. But uh, I like it. I don't even know if I'm in view. Could just be my feet. I'll check back later when I need to. I'm stuffed. It is now 37 degrees Celsius. Thank you, American folk. That is 98 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot. That's it for the day. Good evening. So it's been a few days since the last clip. Um, what's happened? My welder blew up. So yeah, had a bit of a, a stop on everything I was doing. So what I decided to do was change the garage around, put all my workbenches down the side of the garage because eventually I'd like to park the truck in here. And with all the workbenches and everything, up that way it was like at about an inch at the front and an inch at the back so it would just fit but um yeah so i changed the garage but you don't want to watch that you don't want to hear about that um bought a new welder it's a little bit better than the last one still gasless but um it'll do the job because the old one was doing the job and this one's better so it's going to do a better job anyway so tonight i'm just going to come i'm going to come out like every night this week for about half an hour or so Take a few things along. I'll film some of it, some of it I won't film. Um, but yeah, so the grill, I've decided to make up a bit of a frame to go along with a face plate to go in behind it. 
so yeah, something like that. Okay, in there, and in there will go the lights, which uh, the garage is still a mess. So even though I changed it around, nothing else has really changed. It's still a mess. But um, yeah, we'll get to that. So anyway, I'll um, pop this down. Let's see if I can get a good angle on this. I need two hands for this. So obviously that's going to go up there, and then this one will go up in there, like that. So that's going to be the front of the face. Um, done one side, had a bit of a play around with the had a bit of a play around with the uh, welder, and yeah, it seems to weld a bit. I'm probably going to stuff up a few welds trying to get used to it. Anyway. To it. All right. So I've already ground it away. Just did some grinding. You don't need to see grinding. It's um, it's grinding. Yeah. Um, you also don't need to see me welding, but let's just let, let's enjoy this new grinder to get. Oh, let's enjoy this new welder to get. And um, yeah, let's get to it. And it is currently like. 30 something degrees outside and it's 8.30 at night but um, I'm wearing a jumper because the last clip you saw me welding with a t-shirt on or well, I got severe sunburn on this arm which is obviously the one closest to the to the welder I got sunburn from the welder that was a week and a half ago and it's still red and um, it's red and now it's starting to peel me. so yeah, jumper's on now I know why everyone wears jackets when they weld Frame's a little bit twisted, so that's good. I need those magnets. I'm gonna find the magnets and I'll come back. All right, so did I rush through and do a little bit extra off camera? Yes, I did. So that's the full frame made up. Ground down a little bit. Ready for the next bit. So I am gonna, however, take you on the journey of me doing the next bit. And, um, yeah, let's hope I don't stop this one. It's putting the lights into the bezel. So, let's get to it. What I'm going to do, as you can see, I've got some bolts through there. And they're going to be welded to this base plate. And hopefully I don't stuff this up. I've kind of marked them out where I want it to be. Looking at it, that it looks okay. I think. Uh, 
it'll work or it won't. That's going to do a couple of texts with that's an error. Try and tack these nuts on here. These nuts, and then I'll take the faceplate out. And go from there. I'll turn down the other a little bit. I'm still figuring out how to use this welder, so I'm not really sure how this is going. welding for you. I think it's probably because I didn't clean any of the surfaces. I know better than that. But you know what? I think it's stuck. Let's see if I can line this again. Good 
these top bolts down so that it sits a little bit further down and faces downwards rather than up. Right. Now because I'm impatient as anything, which is why everything I do never turns out right, I'm just going to rush ahead and stick this in here. And I'll, yeah, it's all twisted so that's going to turn out really good. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm a bit retarded sometimes, and I'm tired, and it's late. But let's just see. Here. see if it all fits still. Mint. So, here we go. That's what it's going to look like in there. Now, am I slightly regretting welding the front end of my truck up and building this? Um, a little bit. Did I bite off more than I can chew? I potentially think so, um, but I'm doing it, it's too late to back out, and who knows, it might look good. Alright, tell you this, it's heavy, it's a full steel front end grill for a Ford Courier. So, yeah. Anyway, it's nearly 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go in. Or I'll wake up early tomorrow. Till the next clip. What's going on, crazy gooses? Another day, another clip. So, as I may have mentioned in my last clip, I'm um, I just came out and did like a little bit here and there during the week after work. Um. Didn't film it because it was like five minutes here, five minutes there, taking me longer to set the camera up and everything. Anyway, today we are at this point. So I've welded on the other side, the other bezel, welded in the, gr the grill, and welded on the 
mounts to the truck. So I have fitted it up to the truck. It does hold itself up and I've laid down the first few coats of paint. So first coat was primer, second coat was like a red, red, then I've kind of splashed like brown all over it because this is going to be patinaed at the front to hide all the imperfections. And here I've got a bag of poof. No, it's, uh, it's coffee grounds. So I saw this when searching how to throw patina paint and I gave it a go on one of the guards and I quite liked it. Basically it's just wet coffee grounds and just throw it on for that sort of random rust effect. Kind of target it a lot in the corners. On the top. Just kind of gives it that sort of random stone chipped effect. We'll save a little bit of that for the next colour. We'll get on to first colour. Lay down some satin black. grind around a little bit and that's okay just adds to the randomness Perfect day for painting out here, I think. Yeah, I think I got most of it. up and dry and we'll come back with the next coat might chuck the next coat on uh on time lapse just it's just painting so got a couple of coats on there i'm not going to make it too fancy because no point in making it look too good when it's patinaed so now let's remove all of this coffee grind See what we're left with. That's good. Paint's not dry. So the big specs turned out okay, but the little specs kind of stuck in the paint. That's okay. Right, we'll give it a bit of a sand up, and um, maybe they'll pop out a bit more. Or just a rough brush, seems to be doing the trick. Yeah. What we got? I'll fill 
finished brushing it all off and um we'll take a bit of a sweep over and have a look all right so that's what we got you can see like it just that coffee grind just creates like a randomness effect where you know this is the front grill so it's going to get stone chips it's got different layers of rust in there I'm happy with it. Let's take a look on the back. Light up. I'm going to go ahead and throw some gloss on that and uh, call it done. There it is. Now, it doesn't look a little out of place on the truck. Yeah. Um, I'm going to paint the bumper white as well. Uh, once, once I get to painting the rest of the truck it's gonna it's gonna work um the lights look cool the parkers the cages blue beams i don't know if you can see on the camera let me see yeah you can see them anyway the look i was going for the look i was going for was kind of that that old school like F100, F250, I don't know, I was just building something different, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, yeah. It's not another Ford Courier like this, I can tell you that much. Anyway guys, sorry it's been a long one, sorry it's been a long time since I've uh, chucked a video out, life's pretty hectic, but we all know that. Anyway, thanks for watching like subscribe comment tell me it looks shit tell me you guys could have done a better job i don't care because i did it myself anyway peace remember procrastinating it's time you're wasting <laughs>